This episode of NFT Podcast, Ars Cryptoctica, is brought to you by Uptick. Uptick is an industry leader in the NFT marketplace in terms of functionality, infrastructure, and more. Choose from digital art, photography, collectible cards, MP4 video, tickets, and soon MP3 audio NFT formats. Mint on various chains and switch between multiple chains. Download the NFT mobile marketplace app with built-in wallets or go to uptickNFT.com and set up an account with the Kepler wallet extension. Also, check out their Telegram and Discord for more details like the current Uptick token testnet, which is live. Whatever your need for NFTs, Uptick has you covered. All right, this is episode 30 of NFT podcast, Ars Cryptoctica. This time we have Francesco Vincenti, who is from Somnium Space. Uh, Francesco, thanks for making time to be on the show. Uh, could you tell us a bit about yourself? Sure. Thank you very much for having me here. Nice to meet you, everyone. Nice to meet you, man. And uh, of course, I mean, happy to share with everyone more about uh, about what are we doing here and what uh, how I arrived into this uh, place where I'm now. So um, first of all, I will say that uh, my story starts when I dropped university when I was 21 and uh, I was super bored into business administration in Italy. And I said, mm, maybe this is not the place for me. Like they don't even use computers here. So um, I said, um, OK, maybe let's see which are the opportunities out there. So I joined the digital marketing academy. Yes. I mean, then one day you will explain to me if there is marketing without digital, but I mean, this is another story. So anyway, in Italy, everything that was digital, it was already great because I mean, we, we live like into 200, in, into, in 200 years before the, <laughs> the rest of the world. <laughs> anyway, so um, I started working, I started working in a startup that was making a full body skin suite for the human body. So basically it's technologies that are enabled to, uh, with artificial intelligence, change the temperature of your body and uh, they are enabled, let's say, to create incredible things to push the limits of our body. So I got super excited about technologies, about AI, and about human machine interaction and all of that. So I said, OK, I'm going to dedicate my life to that. Uh, definitely, this is the follow the technology, follow the technology. It was like my, my first uh, lesson that I learned at that time. Then I also worked into education. So for me, it's very important. Uh, if I can really leave you a message today, it's uh, the message that for me, it's very important. Everything that uh, is regarding school and education and how we can improve the quality of our learning, because it's very, very bad in the, in the, let's say, in the mainstream of the world, I would say, especially in the first stage, maybe universities as great, but uh, I know that 90% of people had a bad experiences during their school years. So yeah, yeah I'm ded ded dedicating my life to that. And um, hey, Fra Francesco, I... sorry, sorry to cut yes. you off, but let, let's talk a little bit about education quickly. So uh, you know, I, sure. my, my other job is working in a junior high school here in Japan, and uh, it's pretty much babysitting. Uh, I think it's like that around the world. Uh, what 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 what's your message for education? People should be studying on their own, or what what do you want to say about education? Oh. First of all, thanks for asking that. And um, I mean, there are so many messages about education. I would say the, the first thing is definitely that we kill the creativity, we kill the individuality, we kill the, the opportunity for children inside school to really simulate the world, the world out there. Like when you go out of school, you kind of live in your own bubble in which the only thing that was mattered before it was like the grades that you were taking, uh, and the kind of, uh, let's say, how, how, how do I live to make the homework for the day after? And do I really need what I'm learning now? Uh, why I'm so bored? Why it's so stressful to learn? Why it should be the best experience of my life? And uh, why I have to learn uh, alone? And why I have to compete with my fellows, uh, friends in my class instead of having working groups? So all these kind of dynamics is kind of creating into you like fake, um, expectations that you have to suffer for everything that you do and you have to fight of course it's sure i mean life it's something that we have to fight for but we, we cannot ask to a kid to fight for fight so much uh, to kind of uh, having the fear of not losing the year of his life because i mean this is at least what is in Italy. like if you don't go to school you lose an year and you have to repeat so school it's a place in which since there are no incentives for teachers 
to teach you well because we know everything anyone about the problem with like wages and salaries of teachers and uh, uh, I mean at least for public school and uh, it's not even a place for incentive uh, for kids to kind of uh, not just to learn something that is already been made, but they have to learn how to approach life with a different mindset, because uh, what we're learning today probably is going to be completely the opposite tomorrow. So there is no, um, let's say, possibility for students to explore who they really are and what they really want to do into school. And then another thing that is really missing is definitely experience. So the, uh, the, the fact that we, we learn our world by experiencing, right? Right now, I'm in VR, I'm using an headset, I'm in virtual reality, and I'm speaking from inside the world and I'm experiencing something. I'm not saying that this is has to be the kind of experience that you have to do. But for example, for me coming to Italy and thinking that uh, in Italy, that is one of the most beautiful places in terms of art and culture that we have for, uh, I mean, we have thousands of years of histories in Rome, I'm from Roma. So, and thinking that we didn't never had time to be hands on in the cities that maybe once per year, we were taking uh, our classroom and go to have a look outside, but we were studying uh, the past uh, on boring books uh, without technology, without using the right mediums that we wanted, that we as students, uh, we, 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 we know how to use. So let's say all these kinds of dynamics for me really created a broken system that is not sustainable anymore. And uh, I believe that the main problem with education is that we don't understand that if we, can, if we cannot fix education, we cannot fix the world because everything is starting from there. So if we have social and economics problem in life, it's because uh, we spent the first 20 years of our life uh, not learning how to approach to them in the best way. And when it's too late, you just cannot fix them. So yeah, this is my take on education. Yeah, yeah, I tend to agree. I think, but I, you know, that's what the government wants. They want a bunch of sheep that they can control. They don't really want people thinking for themselves. Yeah, I'm interested in your setup there. Uh, you said you have the VR goggles, but I guess you're wearing some kind of suit too. Like how, how do you move your hands around like that? Yeah, okay. So um, I'm not I'm not wearing a suit. I mean, I'm just wearing uh, VR goggles uh, and uh, they track uh, my body until here, let's say, so I can ah. move my fingers easily. But if I want, I mean, right now my, my legs are moving because it's just controlled uh, by the, let's say, by the program that we have here. But if I want, I could definitely all wear a suit and actually we have one and uh, Maybe I can show you one second from here. So we have uh, uh, this suit that is called Tesla suite that is already integrated with some new space because we're also investors into this company. So this Tesla suite here that you see, like if you can turn it on while you're wearing, you can feel the rain and the snow and everything on your body. Like you can have the optic feelings uh, while you're in VR. Like if you're, we you see like other players touch sensations. So then if you hug your friends, you can feel it. Or like if you're playing a, a game, you will feel it. You will feel the shoots on your body. So, I mean, yes, we're integrated with the suite, but you can also have others, uh, how can I say, uh, kind of uh, trackers that I'm, anyway, I'm not using right now. Hmm, that's super cool. So one example you give there was you could hug your friend and feel it, but you know, in your room, you're not touching anything. So the camera puts some pressure on the suit to, you know, simulate hugging someone. How, how does that work? Correct. Exactly. This is a very advanced technology that uh, it's used for uh, uh, electro stimulating your body so that you feel the pressures and all of it. It's also used for muscle controls, for biometrics. So yes, that's exactly how it works. Now, I'm not the scientist behind, so I didn't make it. <laughs> mm. So I don't know all the details, but I definitely know that it works. And the sensation, it's incredible. I mean, it's uh, it's enabled really to simulate everything. Yeah, that's super cool. So so tell me a bit more about a Somnium space. Uh, what, what is that? It's like a whole universe or it's a replication of the planet or it's a, a fixed amount of plots? What, what, what's, the, what's the model there? Yeah. Sure. So right now I'm inside one plot of Somnium Space. Somnium mm. Space is a virtual reality world. 
on the blockchain. Mm -hmm. So virtual reality world, it means that no, it's not memeing the, the real earth. It's just a completely virtual world. So right now I'm just on one of these plots. I will show you around also in others. This is a place that uh, one of my dear friends built. Uh, he's gonna, he has uh, some, uh, some plots here that he, he builds this, uh, this muse verse, let's say. This is a place where you can play music. Uh, and uh, actually we're gonna make an event soon in Prague also, but uh, about this, but yes. So basically this is a place where everything that you see around you, it's entirely shaped by users. What does it mean? So I will turn my camera now and uh, you can see around me. So you see there are different plots here. And I mean, the map is huge. So we, mm. we will go into different places all the time. I mean, I will actually, I think I will drive you into some of them. Uh, do you mind if I put my first view? So instead of watching my face, you can see uh, what I'm what I'm seeing right now. Yeah, so, that's cool, man. Um, one second, let me turn the camera. Okay, but you should see, can you see like, like this, right? Yeah, it's good. Okay, so uh, I mean, you can see from here, for example, people put art. Oh my God, this is amazing. I've never seen this one. Anyway, so like, well, how, how does some new work? Like, uh, Inside this world that people purchase plots of lands, let's say that the plots of land is kind of your starter if you want to participate in the economy. Because anyway, Somnium is free to access. But uh, if you want to do, uh, let's say, um, I don't know, like sales land, or if you want to build something, if you want to create like, I don't know, a room for podcast, if you want, if you want to expose your art, or if you want to sell avatars and your NFTs, for example, here, I mean, you can definitely build your plot of land that can be small, medium, and large. And oh, wow, look at that one. It is amazing. So mm -hmm. um, all everything that you see around me, it's an NFT. So it's a, a piece of digital asset, let's say, that it's owned by the people that buy. Uh, of course, there are some limitations to, to buy on the land, to build on the land, just because for, I mean, for technical reasons, because I mean, if you build something that's too big, it could crash the system. But I mean, as you can see, you can, I mean, I have the scale of this right now, it's in front mm. of me. Mm. And I see, I see the lights of the sun that is reflecting on there, it's reflecting on my body and everything feels so real because I feel immersed into this world. And uh, I'm not entering right now into this bubble because it's gonna crash a little bit my streaming sometimes. But mm. uh, you can see from here, like this is a piece of art in which I can literally enter inside. So yeah, I mean, like we work on multi-chain. So it means that uh, we work on Ethereum, on Solana and Polygon and soon other blockchains all in the same space. And uh, it means that uh, all these NFTs can be minted on, the, on your favorite blockchain on whatever you prefer. So for us, like interoperability is key. And uh, as you can imagine, like decentralization and immersiveness as I'm doing here, it's also key. So yeah, I, I hope this is clear as <laughs> a description of Somnium and of course, ask me whatever question you want so I can dive deeper. But in the meantime, also enjoy the view. This is part of our world. Yeah, so I've got a bunch of questions. One is like right now you're moving around and uh, I've used it before on my keyboard, but are, are you like walking in the same place or uh, how are you moving when you're wearing the yeah. VR headset? No, I'm not. Uh, so I'm not moving for real. Uh, I'm just using analogics on my controllers. So, and then for example, to fly, can you see me flying? Yeah. So I'm just opening my my arms and I'm flying around, kind of directing with the head wherever I want to go. So yeah, just using analogs. But if I want, I mean, let me show you. For example, if I place the, the stuff here, I mean, right now I'm also working in my room so you see my avatar is also moving if I walk, but usually, I mean, it just moves with the analogs. Huh, cool, cool. Okay, uh, what, what headset do you recommend? Are you using Oculus or is there- I mean, yeah, I, I recommend ours. <laughs> I mean, we are building our headset. So some new space is also, uh, let's say going hardware. So mm -hmm. we invested in amazing companies uh, like VR engineers and the links and we just announced the round that we're leading to build our headset. Since what is happening with hardware headset is kind of, anyone is kind of building their closed ecosystem. 
and uh, while our headset is going to be open source and pluggable and play with uh, any other applications that you that you want to build so it, it's not ready yet it's going to be ready in the next year so in the meantime it depends like if you want the cheapest one definitely the oculus uh, is the is the most cheapest at the moment but mm -hmm. uh, if you want to go for something expensive that uh, it's also having great quality you can go for the htc vive or you can go over the for the valve index so there are definitely lots of headset uh, available there but i mean i'm using like oculus right now just because it's easy i travel a lot so it's portable uh, and uh, it's it's uh, yeah i mean it's just good for me yeah well what does an oculus cost these days like 400 bucks or yeah even less i think even 300 okay. And then some, you said Somnium Space is making their own. So that's going to be a bit more. It's like a premium. Uh, it's going to be like next year, the mm -hmm. headset. So we don't, have our, we don't have this kind of information to be disclosed yet. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's talk a bit more about money. How, how does the pricing work for those plots of land? How does that work? How does it work uh, with the plots of land? So first of all, let me go into the city center. One second. I want to bring you there. So um, plots of lands, uh, as I said before, are with different dimensions. So right now, I mean, the way it works for the plots of lands is that we, we sell them uh, at the beginning on an auction. So we really don't make the price. So we just set an initial price and twice per year, we make a land auction. And then it's the market that is bidding on the land and is setting the price. Even ourselves as team members uh, and, uh, for example, also the CEO of Sony Space, he has to buy the lens with his own money bidding on the auction. So right now it's like, uh, I would say from, uh, it depends, like it's from one and a half to Ethereum to like uh, five, six, seven Ethereum. This is kind of the range price that is giving for the, for the lens. But uh, mm -hmm. here, as you can see in front of me, we have something uh, more customizable than the lens. Those are the words. So basically these portals are going to bring me into a complete other place where um, you can where you can completely immerse yourself uh, into other instances so people buy these words as nfts and uh, they can uh, build inside this world wherever they want so they can build also a game for example while on the lens as you can see you usually like make buildings or like I don't know the stuff that you're watching there so you can place all your 3d assets on top of the lens wherever you want and i mean yes we move with the teleports here with the vehicles and other part but um yeah so and while the price for a world it's like i would say starting from ten thousand dollars for a small world uh but i mean i will show you now the kind of technology and what you can do with them so it's um i mean if you want to build a game and if you want to invest into the ecosystem being part of the platform okay here it is so i can play bowling one second i'm super concentrated mm -hmm. so oh okay very oh. bad <laughs> nice try nice try <laughs> thank you that's cool thank man you for, for cheering so um, yeah i will enter oh. now also inside one word so i can um i can show you but yes in the meantime while i'm entering please uh, ask me whatever you want yeah, yeah. So who's who's making the most money in Somnium space right now and how are they doing it? Is it someone mm -hmm. selling NFTs or uh, what, what's the... Good question. So I would say that definitely when you make money in Somnium, it's, uh, I mean, I'd say right now, definitely a trend between all the NFTs is kind of the avatars. Let's say, so your identity, it's very important. Lots of people, lots of people want to have their identity inside Somnium space that they can use uh, and they can wear, as you can see. So definitely avatar creators and builders. I mean, right now we are in the period of building. So if you are an architect, a game developer, definitely for you on commission, you can make a lot of money. But we are also releasing our in-game economy with our marketplace. So we have a utility token that it's called the Somnium Space Cube. And basically this uh, Somnium Space Cube, uh, it's, uh, it's, I mean, it's already out from years. And uh, you can buy it on Germany or Uniswap. And uh, let me go one second. I want to go here. Okay. And um, and um, yes, I mean, you, we are going to have like play to earn dynamics. So for example, you can create challenges or games. So like uh, we're going to have the karma level that it's kind of, um, it's kind of, let's say a feature that is uh, 
measuring how much you're active into Somnion. So if you're a builder, if you're a good person, how many friends you have, et cetera, et cetera. And this kind of rewarding you based on these activities. So this is how, this is just some examples of how you can monetize your experiences inside Somnion space. Cool. For example, cool. this is this guy here. So I'm inside the world. So look at this amazing AI, like he programmed an AI that is also helping you. So you see also the graphics is different. Like the, in the words, uh, you can create a completely different graphics, uh, completely different interoperability. Like, uh, I mean, I don't know, like he also made chess here. So you can play chess or whatever. Like you can make all the games that you want. This is just the most basic one and oof. Okay. And um, so for example, how, how this guy also makes money, like he created a way to basically create his own metaverse inside Somnium. You see, he put it like different words inside his world and he's, he's renting these spaces to someone else. And he's also creating templates for other people to create games faster inside Somnium. So right now we are going to jump into, I mean, this world. So boom, we are now into the, so it's like inception right so you're yeah. in the first level of the inception that is the one that i was before then we enter into the second one and now we are in the third level of inception so i can just access here into this world if i access it to the ones before i mean this place it's incredible this is has been built by amazing artists and uh, i mean look how big is this other world and uh, this is an excel world wow i mean you you have no idea what i'm feeling right now in watching these uh, these lights moving and everything around me, it's just so incredible, and it's uh, I feel completely immersed. I mean, I'm here right now, and uh, yeah, well, let's I let's mean, talk about that for a second. So, like, I'm watching it on my screen. You're watching it on the VR goggles, and I've never used VR goggles before. And you said it's amazing. You think on the screen I'm getting like 10 percent of what you're getting, or even less? How much better are the goggles? <laughs> That's a good question. I mean, I, I don't know how to put in numbers. Let me let me try. So I can I can give my my impressions. Let's say um, once you try, you never come back. I mean, mm -hmm. this is the point with the, like uh, VR. I mean, once you once you have these three hundred sixty degrees and you are inside the screen, it's it's so other dimensions. Because I mean, just the fact that you can immerse and you can feel on your body what is happening that's changing so i would say maybe even less i mean like maybe even less than 10 percent it mm. depends it depends what what are your feelings but i don't know like for me having this um, this guy here it's kind of creating fear into me okay mm. i see that he's moving he's i mean i feel like he's attacking me and actually, I'm, I'm a little bit afraid. I'm not joking. I mean, like, <laughs> like uh, it's kind of feeling me these emotions. And I mean, the fact that I can touch it, that it's triggering. It's like, uh, I don't know, I, uh, it's like, uh, it's like have seeing the picture of a person while instead you can meet this person in real life. Mm. Like, this is kind of the parallel that I see. I mean, I can definitely meet you right now, right? Because we're speaking on, um, we're speaking on Google, on Zoom or whatever is it like, but, um, if I if I meet you in real life uh, and I kind of uh, can touch you, can hug you, can, uh, can 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 see the way you're moving, you're moving your body, your gesture. I can see the color, the light. Maybe it's morning. We are taking a coffee in a good place. So all these kind of uh, um, let's say sensations that uh, belongs to our uh, senses that create our life. It's something that uh, you can completely reproduce here while on a screen you're just missing all the other parts and you're just watching the part so imagine that inside the screen and i know like in your mobile phone you kind of see this part here so mm -hmm. you're missing all the rest i yeah. mean and you can you cannot turn around you don't have this freedom of movement mm -mm. i see I see. Hey, look, I got so many questions. We're going to run out of time, but uh, let's let's talk about how the buildings are built and like how those worlds are built. You know, my my kids sure. play Minecraft and they have these blocks that they move around. But every building in this in this uh, land is different. How how do they build the buildings and stuff? Okay, great question. Anyway, I think we already have other twenty minutes, so no problem. So um, I mean, we are. Um, uh, how the kids build that it's uh, you opening me a great question also about education because I'm, we're also building programs for kids uh, to build inside here 
to make them easier to build. But right now we already have a great tool that, uh, oh, what I have? Oh, got guns. Wow. <laughs> it was my first, okay. ah, there is someone here. Hey, Ed. I'm shooting at Ed, so maybe Ed will answer to me. Okay, no, Ed, uh, Ed doesn't hear my shooting and my voice. So um, I'm all God from this world. So uh, maybe I can show you from the browser here. So can you see, right? Yeah, Google, yeah. Yeah, so come on. So we have a builder inside Somnium that is a very easy, one second, because I have to exit from the world. It's a very easy and intuitive uh, builder that we have that is basically um, for accessible from PC that you can download on your PC if you have Windows. And it's a very, very, very easy version of a 3D builder of like Unity. So also for kids, it's very easy to drag and drop and to test, to build on top of a test parcel. And of course, like, for example, if a school is owning a land, or for example, if we give, uh, if we give a land to someone, hey, Alberto, how are you doing? <laughs> so um, I mean, if we see, if we, for example, if we can provide to a school a land, uh, you can definitely build on top of it, and it's very easy and intuitive. Of course, like if you are more skilled, oh my God, look at this! It is amazing. So oh. really, the sunset. I mean, if you are more skilled, you can use Unity, or you can use any other three D building that you want, because we have an SDK that is kind of a bridge, so something that allows you to import any three D asset on top of somnium but um and so it's not a vr builder it's uh you, you see how the light is reflecting on me and is reflecting on the stuff like this is yeah, everything is cool. so real so um, yeah i mean we uh, we definitely have a, a builder let's say that it's in 2d so it's not a, a vr builder so you're not composing the blocks while in vr even if definitely could be nice but uh i mean this will this will be maybe a tool coming in the future. We we don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Somnium space. It's not the easiest name to pronounce. What what's the story with the name Somnium? Does it have a special <laughs> meaning? I mean, you can just say Somnium. Mm. But it's, even uh, Somnium, it's it, it, are, well. Are you? Do you guys have some partners or some? Uh, who who's backing this project? Is it just a yeah? Startup? Sure. So first of all, Somnium is um Somnium is a Latin name. It means dreams. In, uh, so I'm from Italy and Somnium is translated into Sogno. Sogno means dream. So Somnium space, it is the space for dreams. Okay, because okay. Uh, I mean, I would say this is definitely where dreams come, can come true. I mean, I, I had some lucid dreamings and dreams and this is the, this is the closest experience that I had to them. So um, we definitely have some partners. We are not a startup. We are investing in companies ourselves. So we have backers and partners in Germany. Yeah, so the Winklevoss twins, for example, it's one of our backers, but uh, a lot more of them like private individuals or like DAOs and other, other people, I would say. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have definitely different partners like Tesla, so it has a show before, Virgin uh, and the links that are building for us. Uh, I mean, all the blockchains that we're working with, uh, we have Admix, uh, that is an incredible partner in which we're building uh, um, uh, billboards for the metaverse. So you're going to be able to put this billboard on your parcel and you're going to make money out of this billboard anytime someone is coming in front of this. So it's not us making money from the billboard, but it's the users making 100% money from the, from the advertising. So yeah, I mean, and lots of other partners, uh, depending on what you what you want to count, like Redifier Me, for example. This is a this is an avatar that I created from Redifier Me. That it's one of the most famous and incredible, uh, let's say, avatar creators, and yeah, much more. Hmm. Hmm. How, how are you guys marketing the project? What what works to get like you know more um, interest, more new, more users? I mean, usually we're just organic growth right now. So we don't really push so much the boundaries of marketing. We make more awareness. Let's say we just share everyday contents that we're making from inside here, any new update, any, any new tool that is building by creators. So we're definitely increasing now some efforts on the marketing in the sense that uh, it's more like community engagement, I would say, than marketing. So community, community, community having people building this is definitely the best marketing for us because uh, i mean we we 
we are i think we are on every on every pr like we've been on forbes on bloomberg i mean on, on any other possible like um, uh, i would say newspaper we've been interviewed recently in the last year or two by everyone we constantly make webinars interviews so uh, we make marketing for companies and uh, partners that uh, we really feel are interested interesting for us i mean mm. we are definitely in the phase of building uh, the technology and uh, yeah so i mean if you want to reach out <laughs> you're welcome to do it to to to, to us everyone uh, every everyone that you that you are that you think you you want to build or you want to use the platform for um yes for would, would you would you say you're targeting targeting artists or targeting creators or just open to anyone or are you kind of focusing on it's, one it's group it's definitely open to anyone but uh, i would say like creators creators in general it's a it's a huge word i mean it can be anything from game developer to artists to musicians so we are definitely here for the creators nice nice so this is the we're status building now. The creator, we're building the creator's economy. That's good, man. That's that's what we need. What what are the plans for the future? Are there are there more uh, more features or other things coming coming soon? Sure. I so definitely the marketplace is coming. As I said, very interesting updates on the web are coming uh, that you will see. Uh, there is a feature that kind of made us being uh, <laughs> famous over the last months. That is the live forever feature. Mm. So um, tell tell us more about that. Sure. So let me let me take my kayak. I want to show you also the kayak. So um, can one second. Let me take it like here. Okay. So it should work. So um, the live forever the live forever mode feature. It's uh, it's an interesting feature that we will develop. So some new space. Uh, let's say revenue it's not based on data uh, so we don't make money out of it but if you want uh, we can collect your data for a specific reason so imagine that uh, sorry i cannot go out from this <laughs> from i'm kind of stuck you're, in you're this tied up yeah 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 <laughs> okay you see I'm, I'm not good at sports okay now <laughs> it's working okay so um, um let me put it more here so you can see the moon so um, this live forever mode it means like uh, you can uh, collect uh, your data in terms of voice uh, in terms of um, uh, gestures so that if one day you are not on earth anymore you can allow that an ai is reproducing your gestures and your voice into the metaverse so you will live forever into the metaverse this is uh, this is what we what, one thing that we are developing that is definitely going to be very interesting to come but yes i mean this is a this is like a bringing the boundaries uh bridging the boundaries of like life and that <laughs> this is how i would call it but i mean there are lots of updates that we're working on definitely our wallet it's something that we're working so instead of using metamask to using your nfts and you can use your somnium wallet and uh, so that you can mint everything that you want inside the inside the marketplace and uh, yes i mean so many other features and updates coming on some cool projects coming on like the fashion show that we're making this year uh somnium studios uh, that is one of our projects that is uh, involving like podcaster musicians or filmmakers uh, if you want to if you want to build your career into the metaverse and right now i mean i am you see that i'm, I'm driving the kayak and i'm really not sweating but almost so i'm really making a uh, I, I see that like the water is pushing and I have to press stronger in order to to really have the possibility to move forward. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, I had a couple of questions, but I, I lost a couple. Hey, how, <laughs> how, how, how much how much time do you spend in there you, on your weekends? You're always in the Somnium space or you go outside? No, I mean, like we, we have daily meetups. So um, we have, uh, I want to put it here. So we have daily meetups. So we have um, um, every day at 10 p.m. Central Time. Oh, actually, this this is one second. I want to turn it on. Turn it on this side. This is was made by OpenSea, for example. It's a collaboration. Mm -hmm. So we have daily meetups uh, uh, almost. Uh, oh, I mean, every day. <laughs> no, yeah. Almost at 10 p.m. Central Time, and uh, we have developers meetups. So we usually. 
uh, we have events, parties, moments in which we play games. So, I mean, it depends. Like, if you're just a user, usually you spend like one hour, two hours per day. Uh, me, myself, uh, I mean, I would, I would say that I spend like at least five, from five uh, hours, let's say to 10 during the week. That's usually what to do. But I mean, for example, Arthur, uh, the CEO, he's spending here lots of, lot of time. That's a lot of time being every day in the community. Uh, and uh, I usually use it a lot, for example, when I do interviews right now. So I really like to show Somnium from the inside when, uh, when I can, because there is so much to see. Nice, nice. How, how many, uh, two questions. So when did this start? And then like, when did it go live? And then how many users, I guess, how many daily users and how many parcels of land uh, have sure. been sold? So it started in 2018 and uh, we have different parts of the, of Somnium, let's say in VR, we usually have like hundreds of users every day. Mm -hmm. While into the web, we have like more like 1,000, 2,000 users every day uh building as i said before like it's definitely a time for building like okay, this is an amazing place this is like a a place for hosting uh, like metal concerts and um what, what was the other question oh, and the other ones how, how many how many plots of land have sold ah yes yeah, so there are five thousand plots of land and they're gonna be just five thousand forever but uh there are uh, the words uh, that we're creating right, right now there are just uh one thousand why so 100 words but we definitely want to create more. So we, we try to meet the, the, the demand of the market. So we are not just speculating printing words. So yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's the numbers. That's great. That's great. Okay, we better wrap it up pretty soon. Uh, is there anything else you want to mention before we, before we go? Uh, uh, definitely, yes. I mean, like I, I want to say that if you want to join some new space, uh, if you, because uh, I mean, if you liked what we're doing, if you want to participate into builds, we have lots of programs that we can, some, lots of stuff that we can do together. So we have lots of community projects in the making. So if you feel you're a contributor, you can definitely find your place. Even if you are a builder, if you're a developer, if you are a marketing guy, if you're a designer, and uh, we also have funds for this. So we have a creators fund that is already more than $1 million with different partners that is basically giving you money uh, for any projects that you want to build if you're good to pitch and to prove that it's a sustainable project. And uh, we also are building more guides and uh, tutorials to onboard you into this, let's say, with the Somnium Space Academy. So as you were saying before, all the efforts are definitely leading to educating more people to, to be inside here. How can I build? Why, have, why do I have to build? And uh, which are the, the opportunities? Can I make a living even if I am at school? Like all these kind of, um, of, uh, of questions. And yes, I mean, our answer is yes. This is the place where the creator economy definitely is coming through. And uh, we are we're gonna be here for next, next, next many years. We think in decades, I believe we already have incredible technologies that will definitely improve over time. So it's always the right moment to join the metaverse. And as I always say, metaverse is like Mars, let's say. So imagine that you're going on a new planet and you want to, let's say, I mean, you're completely free to decide what to do. So you don't even have to ask me, hey, what can I do? I mean, you can invent your job here. This is definitely the beginning on a view era of creators. If you don't have an ad set, it's not a problem because you can join from 2D from web and we are merging all of these realities. We are working very hard for cross reality platform. So there are definitely lots of practical ways to join this place, to have fun and to build with a community from all over the world. Nice, nice Francesco, I love your passion. So to get information, <laughs> to get to get more information, like, you know, take the next steps, just go to somniumspace.com is the best way. Yes, definitely. You can follow us on Twitter or you can write to me since I open a lot of relations. So, I mean, maybe you can attach my Twitter here on the podcast, like in the, in the link below. I know does it work like on my Twitter. You can definitely write me there. Uh, I would say this is definitely the best move. I mean, if you want to reach out to our creators, you can go on the website, join our Discord. I mean, definitely Discord is the most important part where you will find already 30,000 active members. Uh, and uh, you can reach out to anyone there if it's a developer, if it's me. I mean, my name in the Discord is Vince, 
V-I-N-S. So you can definitely reach out to me or to whoever else. Can you say the name one more time? It's a bit unclear. Beams? Beams is V-I-N-S. V-I-M-S. V-I-N-S. Beams. Okay. Okay. This is cool. my name on Discord. Nice. Nice. Anything else? I'm fine. I mean, if you want to add some questions, uh, but I definitely think that uh, we, we, if anyone is listening to us here and if you want to get deeper, you can definitely reach out personally to me or yeah. to other team members. Okay, it's been really good, really educational. I, I loved it. Uh, thanks a lot for your time, Francesco, and uh, maybe we'll see you again in the future. Yeah. Sure. Thank you very much for your time today and really for inviting me. I um, super love to share what to do. And okay. uh, see you on the other side of the monitor. Yeah, it's very educational. All right, take care. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everyone.